5,530 pounds. This is a best-selling Passport 2920 here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you'd like to see if we have this in stock and available, all you have to do is visit the link in the video description or call a member of our team. We only advertise what we have in stock, and we do clearly publish pricing, and we do not engage in the practice of hidden dealership fees, as is so common in this business. Uh, so more to the point of why you're watching this video, the Passport 2920. Um, in North America, Passport is the number one selling ultralight travel trailer. And they have been that way for, I don't even remember how many years now. It's, it's just kind of, it's a race for number two at this point. Um, so why? What is it about these guys that's just so darn attractive? I, I think it's because they have found, um, statistically, the most attractive mix of features to weight to cost. Um, it, this is a very, very intelligently equipped ultralight. I call it uh, the smart money lightweight. And here's what I mean. Everything you're going to use and touch and manipulate every day, like these baggage doors, they spent some extra money on it. Like we've got the nicer magnet latches. We've got protective sealed hinges so that the, the hinge can't leak and it can't get sprung over time. They've got a nicer fully laminated baggage door. You can see that we've got uh, a, a larger front storage compartment on the passports here at Haylet RV. Um, you also look around in here. And this is, I think, one of the reasons they've maintained their uh, their their status as just the absolute top seller in North America in lightweights. And that is uh, pure aluminum skeleton. Technically, you have galvanized steel roof trusses, but the point is the skeleton's not stick built. That's what most people are looking for. And we're and it's all double sided welded. They don't just single weld anything. They double weld everything. Um, a, a lot of brands. They will uh, they'll only single weld a vertical, but they'll double weld a horizontal. Passport double welds everything. It's one of the things I like about it. It's actually named Passport. It's Keystone. Keystone does that. What I'm describing is actually the general Keystone um, uh, build model. And it has made them the most successful producer of laminated products out there by far. It's not even close. Um, you know, and it's... It's a it's a smart combination. They have become very quality control conscious down there to the tune of in the lightweight world This is uh, if it's not the most it's one of the most uh, Like successful brands from a service standpoint that we have here at Halid RV And we actually have more laminated lightweight trailers than any other trailer segment uh, in this industry This is actually the thickest fattest part of the industry if you will. This is where everybody wants to be This is the pride factor and this is the number one so um I think a lot of the quality of this comes from the chassis because if you want a good house you start with a good foundation I say that all the time and I think it's true. You know you hear it in home construction. I think it's true here, too They use a different frame. It's the uh, NXG frame. It's a Z chassis made with HSLA steel, which is high strength low alloy It's lighter but stronger similar to aircraft construction um, You've got a real simple solar prep port up there But what more do you need and that's really the whole message is the stuff you're gonna use every day like this thing has to have a good chassis. You're gonna, you know, whether it's sitting, whether it's riding, it's on the chassis. So they put good money in the chassis. Um, the uh, awning, you're gonna use that awning every day. So it's both a power awning and it's an easy tilt awning. You can literally tilt the thing with two fingers and it has full length LED lighting. So, you know, the stuff you're gonna touch every day is there. Back here by your hookups, um, you've got uh, an outside utility shower with hot and cold, not just a cold water sprayer port. And in a sense with this model, that's sort of been duplicated on the outside kitchen. More on that in just a moment. Now, a lot of people are understandably cautious. I don't think it's wrong to ask questions when you're not sure about things like cable driven slides. Um, Something that that's impressive here is like the 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 cousin to the passport the little bit bigger cousin would be the Keystone Cougar that we also carry here at Halitz. Um The cable driven slide is actually literally the least warranted thing in the entirety of Cougar RV production fifth wheels trailers everything should give you an idea Another thing guys. This is literally the most expensive slide system on the market um, it's also one of the very lightest weights and obviously the most reliable because if they could find another slide system that worked as well for less money, of course they would do it. There's a reason they're using this one. Um, a fairly uncommon feature on a bigger trailer, you tend to only see this on like little 17 foot no slide bunkhouses, is that bunkhouse garage storage door. You don't see a lot of that anymore. This is um, 
I think this is definitely one of the things that's made the Passport 2920 super attractive. So first of all, this has a deadbolt, so no one's going to steal your children at night. Um, you know, I say that lightly, but that is a concern some people have, and I think it's a valid concern, so I want to address that. So this has the same deadbolt as your main entry door. So if this isn't sufficient, then you shouldn't buy any camper because they all have the same door lock. You're going to be okay. Now, uh, when you're going down the road or when you're packing up lots of cargo, this just has a strutted lift system here. And if you pull this bunk mattress out, it can totally fold up flat. The easiest thing to do is take this bunk mattress and put it on top of the bunk above us right here. But anyway, so you, you get the idea for a quick setup. This can fold up out of the way. You can get like bikes and grills and chairs and big things in here. Big cargo storage space. Now, uh, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know that I've already done footage on uh, a passport for this model year in the 2920 floor plan. Normally, for uh, an update wave, I won't usually go out and recapture entirely new footage, but I really felt that the updates here that they put on this mandated it. The interior of this has been really dressed up. The exterior is virtually untouched. What they're doing outside, it works. It works every day of the week. It works extremely well. They didn't have to muck with it. But the inside got a full facelift, and man, it just looks so dynamically different. It's fantastic, and I really wanted to showcase it and give it its, its thing. Now, uh, their outside kitchen's a little different in the Passport series. They have these cool dual wing out countertops. They stick out both sides here to give you some actual counter and prep space outside in a low profile outside kitchen that normally wouldn't have counter or prep space. Now the other nice thing about this is the countertop is sitting lower. Most outside kitchens the countertop is like up at this height. That's like chest level for my wife. And it's not that she can't manipulate it, it's just that it's not organic or comfortable. So this is normal. Kids can reach this. They can set a drink down. Whatever. So all passports in the grand touring segment, uh, which is what we're looking at here, this is the bulk of the passport family, um, have either an outside cooktop or in non-outside kitchen models actually have a bumper grill. So they always take care of you in that regard. Um, some people are going to look at this, and uh, I call this the scorpion tail sink because this thing can kind of bend around, and to me it looks like a scorpion tail, and I'm a fantasy nerd, and I think that's cool. Anyway. So this is hot and cold water. But what's cool about this, remember how I said there's sort of an outside shower on the door side? You can hook this up to here. This is a quick release uh, little um, faucet job. There you go. It's it's almost, almost like it's spring loaded. It's actually like a little tension system. So if you notice on the other side of this, this can use any garden hose like sprayer handle. So you can have campsite cleanup, hot and cold water on both sides of the trailer. That is not a normal thing in this business. But it is. It, but they accomplished it seamlessly and in a very dollar effective fashion. That is what I mean by smart money ultralight. This is the smart money ultralight. It has everything that matters. It has everything that matters and nothing that doesn't. Start naming extra features. And chances are those are preferential items, not necessities. Every necessity, everything you're going to use all the time, guaranteed every camping trip, it's all here. It is all here. Now, the thing that I have noticed has contributed to the success of this model as much as anything else is the low-profile outside kitchen. Not so much for what this directly represents, but what it indirectly represents by a true fourth interior bunk. Most quad bunk floor plans... Um, historically had four bunks and then outside kitchens happened and they sacrificed an outside or a bunk for an outside kitchen they didn't do that at passport they came up with a low profile outside kitchen to maintain true four bunk spaces so you have four individual sleeping spaces in the back without even touching the super slide sleeping space which you can sleep four more there this is a 10 person sleeper with sofa and uh dinette included talked about the awning uh, I want to talk about this, wide stance load equalization axles. These do a couple things for you. First of all, since they're set for their part, they keep the camper from wanting to bounce back and forth quite so violently in transit. And then when you're going down the road, they keep the camper from wanting to scoot back and forth. They don't do the butt scoot boogie basically on you. Um, bigger entry handle, triple step. You know, this price point, you usually get double steps. You usually get the small little one hand plastic handle, but you're going to use them every single day. So Passport bulked them up. That, again, is the message here. They spend the money where it needs to be spent, and everything in this is feature first, and that is what I like about it. Um, now, inside, this is really where the biggest level of updates took place, and it's really just cosmetic only, because when you already have 
uh, you know, the very best selling thing in its class in North America, you don't really have to reinvent the recipe, do you? You know, it's called the Colonel's Original Recipe because it's his original recipe. He never changed it. Um, what they did here, really, it's mostly in the wood tones. They, uh, they moved away from what looked like a, a reddish, shiny looking, it just looked like a Burger King plastic wrapper on everything. And the camper was built so good, it just didn't do it the justice it deserved. And they really dug in, they got their uh, their designer ladies down there to, to really go through the interior decor of this, and it just has such a knockout look and feel with this sort of milk chocolatey, pseudo driftwood sort of look to it. And I love the extra accents they put on their, their uh, doors and whatnot, these little um, extra trim looking pieces. It just looks fantastic in here. Now, I think it perfectly complements the graphite decor, which is what we're looking at here. But I will tell you, I am not, I, like, I str I'm lucky I get to wear a black shirt and khaki pants every day, because I am not, like, a fashion-forward outfit maker. Uh, that's, that, that's my challenge. I'm good with the keyboard. I'm not so good with the clothing. Anyway, so this is the granite decor. There are different decors. There's driftwood, which is super popular. You'll see a lot of that here at Halet RV. My point is, this is not the only way we bring this in. So if you like everything in this camper except, man, I just don't like that really dark sofa, which is actually pretty popular in, in bunk models because it doesn't show the, the wear from the kids as well, um, give us a call. We probably have something more in the neutral brownish tone. But frankly, guys, uh, the red-blue-green days are over. Everything is browner, browner. If a designer's feeling really wacky, you might get a gray. <laughs> anyway, it's trifold sleeper sofa. That's standard. And that's what I like about this. Everything I've been describing, it's it's basically standard. There's like virtually no options even available at Passport. This is what they build. They build it the same way, the same method every single time. And that is where their quality comes from, from consistency and repetition. That also keeps their costs in check because they don't have to have management oversight to build something one way, retool, build another way, retool, flip back. Everything is bang, 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 cookie cutter, you know? Um, so we talked about this folds out into like a, uh, you know, you can sleep two adults on here. That folds down into a seven foot bed. You could sleep two adults on there, but they better know each other because they're gonna be snuggling pretty close. Huge, huge slide out windows. Sliding panels too for maximum airflow here. You get some great airflow and obviously pull the shades down. Now, even the uh, non main cabin, the accent lights are all LED in this. We have all LED lighting. Um, it just keeps it cooler in here. It keeps it brighter. Speaking of keeping it cooler, if you notice above the kitchen, you've got a skylight. But it's not just a skylight, is it? That's the passport advantage. Uh, and it, It's actually a vent. So when you're cooking, because this is near a heat source, or just your body heat during the summer, this can exhaust heat out of this thing, which is really, really nice. So it's actually dual purpose. That's the passport advantage. And catching those little differences, that's the Halet RV advantage. Now, imagine when there's money in the mix and we're actually working on a deal. Imagine the kind of attention to detail we're paying if we're worrying about the skylight here in this thing. That's what we do, guys. Give us an opportunity to work with you. You won't be disappointed. We'll come back to the kitchen. So you've got doors for easy bench storage uh, under the dinette here. Um, which is very handy when you fold that down. Uh, you should fold the table down when you're in transit, by the way. It gives you the perfect place just to kind of slot those two little legs and get them out of the way. Um, bathroom over here. It's simple, but it's actually kind of pretty, and it's effective, you know? Someone's going to say, I don't like how I can see those little pipelines right there. And I, I respect that, but at the same time, are they really hurting anything? And now we have an open pocket right here where you can put something lightweight like extra toilet paper that's not going to hurt that piping whatsoever. So instead of close it off and make you lose space, they left it open and functional. That's kind of why all of this is here. Um, you've also got the countertop there with the, uh, you know, outlets that are GFI protected. So if you, you know, drop a shaver in the sink, you're not going to light your camper on fire. <laughs> Very important. Um... Skylight here, above the shower with protective wall surround paneling. When you get into this class and price point, especially these dollars and cents, because passports are among the most price aggressive lightweights out there because they have stick stuck with what matters and then stopped. They didn't they didn't go beyond where they had to. But they do everything that's important, you know? I uh, very impressive. So 
you get in this dollar price point, a lot of times you start to lose skylights or shower surround panel. You don't get that. Now here, this could be a pantry. This could be a closet. You can adjust this to however you want. You know, they didn't waste anything. And I really do like the updated doors. It's it's funny how that little thing really, really jazzed this up. Overhead bunks are rated for 300 pounds, uh, which is, you know, best in class. And there's other campers that have a 300 pound bunk rating, but I've never seen anyone with more. So again, that should tell you, they are of the top level of build construction in here. Notice too that every bunk has a window. Every bunk has a window that's big and opens. If you want to make a trailer less money very quickly, sacrifice windows and lighting because those are literally the two most expensive things out there. And then just little stuff like this. A lot of brands have started going to this little accent batten stripping because it just kind of ties in with the, uh, the woodwork and whatnot. Now we have Fully enclosed forced air heated underbelly, and the the central floor heat ducting is the most efficient heating system in the RV business. It'll give you more even heat through the trailer quicker, faster, better, stronger. Um, there's nothing wrong with cabinet ducted heating, and it has its own advantages. I've actually done videos on that. There's advantages both ways, but this is the most efficient way to do it, and it's also the most efficient way to keep the underbelly heated at the same time. I have been in a passport in January with the heat running. Now, I still we absolutely keep it winterized in, in weather like that here in, in Michigan. And it gets colder in other parts of the country for sure. But in a passport in January, in freezing temperatures with the wind blowing, with just the furnace on, I took my shoes and my coat off and I was comfortable in one of these. It was very impressive. So if it, you want to let the kids bring entertainment stuff, you've got hookups over here for it. Um... The uh, closet in here and all this extra dresser storage, this is just fantastic. The kids' stuff stays in the kids' room. Now, another thing that's neat on this, a lot of brands will actually extend the bunks out here to this wall to be flush with this. Passport actually made it four individual size bunks. And that was a conscious decision they made so that the kids aren't fighting over which bunk they get. Every kid gets the same thing. There's no argument, so be quiet and go to bed. Plus, it means bigger storage and a bigger walkthrough space so the kids aren't bumping into each other and throwing fits and all that good stuff. Um, plenty of lighting back here. I like how uh, the uh, you know, you've got like what, several lights back here just in the bunkhouse. Even the bunkhouse lights up very nicely. Um, moving forward, entertainment center. TV actually swings out. It can pivot and face the super slide seating over here so there's not a bad seat in the house. And you have twin pocket privacy doors that slide open here for the bedroom. So mom and dad, when it's time for you just to call it quits for the night, there you go. You've got your own nice little doors and they're fully bracketed in place so they're not going anywhere. A lot of brands to save money will only use a top runner. They won't use a bottom guide so that the door actually can swing around and bang around when it's in transit. And their argument is, well, when you're in transit, you should have the doors closed like this. Yeah, but they can still, I mean, it's violent in a trailer. This is the, that, again, that's, that's one of those imperceptible things they did from a quality standpoint for it. Here's another one. This is another thing you can't see. Like, actually, if you're in a passport, bring a magnet. And just, you can run it along the roof, and you'll find an actual galvanized steel roof truss. And another thing you can do, like right here where a cabinet hooks into the wall, they put a big galvanized steel plate in the wall so that the screws really have something to bite into so that this is not falling off. And here's another thing. It's actually real overhead cabinetry. If you pay attention in the business... What you're going to find is a lot of the dollar cheaper brands, if you follow the, the, the cabinet style from the microwave, it'll stop here and the whole cabinet will recess and sink back. That means that you're losing space and storage. You need to go shopping with a cereal box to see if you can even get it in there. Or take the spinning tray out of the microwave and put it in there and make sure it's dinner plate sized. Now, look at this huge... They put the biggest window they could here in the kitchen. So that when you are standing here at this big peninsula countertop, you can be right in front of the sink. You can look out. You can keep an eye on the kids. You can check your fire. You can look at the food cooking on your fire pit grill if that's what you do. It's, it's just so smart, all the appointments here. Now, again... Consistency brings quality, uh, repetition, all that. Same door, same door. On the back side here, same door. They can build the same door three times instead of building two or three different doors and causing the guy to rejig his molds. That saves labor time. That saves uh, construction costs. It saves uh, warranty rates. It's, it's fantastic. Now, here's something I love to show on these. Passport, instead of going that like little half-hearted 45-degree countertop. They went with a full 90-degree uh, bended uh, um, peninsula counter here. And they give you a door to get to every square inch of that storage. There's nothing lost in here. And on the flip side, I come around, there's drawers and doors, which sounds funny. 
but it's a smart money cost saving measure. Your forks, spoons, and knives will stay in those drawers just as well as anything else, but this construction methodology and logic saves you money. And it works exactly the same, and that's what I mean by smart money. Does it function better? Great, then Passport spends money on it. Does it not function better? No. Well then, Passport's not gonna spend money on it. That's what I like about them here at Halitz. We carry a lot of different lightweight brands and they all have different levels of appointment, they all have different logic into them, but Passport, more than any other brand, has maintained their identity, the spirit of the brand, but really good about customer feedback. Uh, for instance, last year, they had the command center with all your like water heater switches down here. Well, they moved it up where the grandkids can't screw with it. You know, that makes more sense. Um, the, uh, like I said, I, I mentioned it, but just to show you how the TV swings out. Now, another thing they've recently done, they added a nice little phone charging station there, some USB plugs. Now, some brands have like 12 USB plugs in them, and that's cool. That's part of their identity. But do you need all of that? With, with all of the other power outlets that Passport puts around, I don't know that you do. And apparently they kind of felt the same way. I love it when they put these glass inserts on here. That looks so sharp with the new cabinetry. Like the little radius wall touches. They've been doing this for years, but it just really stands out now. It just really looks good. So a lot of people do not like when the bed comes right up to the entertainment center. I get it. I understand it. I respect it. As a tall person, I would have problems with it. But I don't mind it here in a Passport. It doesn't bother me at all because this is a full 80 inch true queen bed. So my feet are not kicking those doors or the entertainment center at night. Now they've still maintained full overhead storage here. They have full length hanging closets. So there's not that sharp point that gouges your shoulder when you're in it. Both sides of the bed do have power outlets against the bed base so that you have uh, areas to plug in like little fans or you could throw an alarm clock up here or breathing machines, CPAPs, whatever. They do it all. This camper does everything that is important and they just don't waste time or money on things that are not necessary or everyday functional useful items you can look at a lot of different trailers and they may have fancy features but they will not do anything this doesn't do equally well they will not perform any function for your family this doesn't perform at the highest level and uh i mean case in point i encourage you as as a big time passport dealer look through our used inventory you rarely find used passports. People never give them up, despite the fact that they've been around for ages now in the RV business, and they've been such a huge dominant force for a long time. There's tons of used passports out there, but people rarely trade them. People tend to sell them privately because they command that money, that respect. When you say used passport in a sentence, people's ears perk up, they go, oh really? The other thing is like people will buy a passport with the expectation of using it for like two or three years. And then they end up enjoying it so much, they'll hold on to it, for 5, 10, 12 years. And then they'll finally go ahead and just upgrade to like the giant luxury fifth wheel, like a Montana or something that we have here at Haylet RV. You know, they 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 work so well that it's like when you find a, a hairstylist or a barber that cuts your hair the way you want it. Even if you move towns, you'll go back to that person as long as you can because you finally found someone that you're comfortable with and you can trust. That's a passport, guys. It's that old timey barber shop that you can trust to cut your hair right. I don't know if that's the best analogy, so I should probably wrap this up. Anyway, I think you get the idea at this point. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. I don't care where you live. It's on wheels. We make deals happen. All we need is the opportunity. It, you are literally never too far from Halet RV to make a deal with us. So with that, have a great day.